Hello and welcome to School Challenge TV. Here are some Land Rover nuts. No, not those nuts, these nuts. The G4 Challenge Land Rover Club has come to the Oxford Gun Company, the home of the school's challenge, and they've painted the car park orange. The G4 Challenge was an off-road driving competition run in 2003 and 2006. The 2009 event was cancelled, but Land Rover enthusiasts snapped up the special event vehicles and today 13 of them have gathered to have a go at shooting before tackling the off-road course. The point was, unlike the Camel Challenge, where they disappeared into the jungle and battled away through the jungle, these were used more to show what a standard Land Rover would do. And they just picked the colour off a teapot in somebody's kitchen, Tangier's orange. They used more to carry kit and equipment to places so you can go kayaking, mountain biking, orienteering, rather than getting them stuck in the jungle. First off, it's the shooting, and the Land Rover OCDs are having great fun under the guidance of the OGC's instructors. Um, it went really well, I beat you. Yeah, you did, <laughs> yeah. Um, and it went quite well. It's what was your score, Charlotte? 21. Out of? 30. So you were really good, weren't you? Mm-hmm, and what was yours? Uh, mine was nine, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Thanks for embarrassing me. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I'm hoping, well, I know I'm going to be better at the driving than I was at the shooting. <laughs> There's a general rule off road in that it's as slow as possible, as fast as necessary. Um, it depends on the terrain, really, because at the end of the day, you don't want to cause yourself any injury or damage. Um, there's a bit of fun involved when you get stuck and you've got or somebody else gets stuck and you've got to recover them and and you do like getting muddy and you do like going through the water and it all adds to part of the fun when it all splashes up over the vehicle and, <laughs> and you're on your way home and it just looks like you've had a great day's fun with the shooting over and fueled up with bacon sarnies burgers and cake the landy enthusiasts head off to get mucky First, though, they have a cunning plan to set out their vehicles to spell G4 in the field behind the shooting ground. And how will they know they've succeeded? With this. That's done that. Now for some serious off-road stuff. to ride in Gary's D3. He's a loyal Land Rover fan. I've had Land Rover since I was 17. <laughs> so this is about my 13th or 14th Land Rover. Right. So yes, I've had them since I was small. Well, since I could learn to drive, I've had them. I've had all sorts. This is uh, my second D3. I've had Series 1, Series 2s, Defenders, uh, Series 1 Discovery, Series 2 Discovery, and now this one. So uh, the only thing I've not owned is a Range Rover. So right. that might be next year's project, we don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the look of a Range Rover Sport, they do look nice. Yeah. And Land Rovers seem to have this effect on people, what is it about them? Um, don't know really, I think it's just the, just the way that, um, I think the brand just, just makes you, 
it gives that a sense of adventure and everybody knows that Land Rover's sort of an adventure type vehicle. Plus for me, um, I mean, I grew up on a farm, so uh, anything that looks tractor-like is probably one of the better things for me, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's having a great time splashing about in the mud, but not everything is going to plan. One of the landies gets stuck on a slippery slope and needs winching to safety, though the club seems to see that as all part of the fun. Even when Mark's defender gets a puncture, there are plenty of eager helpers offering to lend a hand, although that could be because he's blocking the way back to the clubhouse in a hot cup of tea. And now we have the school challenge news. The Schools Challenge Winter Series final took place at the weekend. Full report in the next episode of Schools Challenge TV, but the winners are Ben McElwain in the senior men's, with Jack Brearley in second and James Lewis in third. Nicholas Richens comes first in the prep, followed by Toby Bennett and Tom Scott. As Alan beats Izzy Doherty into second place in the ladies. Overall winner of the 2013 Winter Series is James Lewis in the senior category with 171x200, beating Jack Brearley, both of them TSC Academy members. Overall 2013 prep winner is Toby Bennett on 100 165x200. We know it's not quite Christmas yet, but we have launched our G4 members Christmas raffle with some great prizes including a day's shooting instruction with the Oxford Gun Company, G4 guides and PR material and other G4 OC merchandise. To find out more, head over to the G4 OC members extra page on g4ownersclub.com or log into the forum. The famous Schools Challenge game day is back on the 17th and 18th of December 2013. Just 299 for two full days of shooting. First clays, then a game day. To get booked in, please call Rosie on 01844 238 308. The Duchess of Cambridge, patron of Sports Aid, has announced Schools Challenge regular Amber Hill as nominee for a One to Watch award. This award recognises young sports people who have been supported by Sports Aid in 2013 and whose performances here has highlighted them as one of the brightest hopes for the future of British sport. Amber joins a shortlist of just three athletes chosen from more than 1,300 talented sportsmen and women from across the UK, hoping to follow in the footsteps of previous winner Tom Daly. Amber has had a phenomenal year this year, and at just 16 years of age, is already ranked fifth in the world at the senior level. Achievements in 2013 include number one in GB ladies team at senior level. She holds the junior world record with a score of 74x75. She's equaled the world senior record with that score. She is the youngest junior to make a World Cup final and win. She won gold at the World Cup in Acapulco. She won gold, silver and bronze at international junior cups. She took team silver in the European Championships and in the World Championships she took team silver. Nut Hampstead Shooting Ground has now become the official trap ground of the Schools Challenge. The owner of the ground, Martin Barker, Team GB coach and David Florence, former coach on Double Trap, has been made the official trap and double trap coach for the TSC Academy for 2014. Now, young shots from around the UK. If you are out shooting, take a little film with your mobile phone of what you're up to and send it to rosie at theschoolschallenge.co.uk. While the Land Rover mob are busy pulling each other out of the mud, the Schools Challenge Academy has come to the Oxford Gun Company for one of their regular training sessions. In the last episode of Schools Challenge TV, we offered you the chance to train with them, and the winner is... Heather Dunmall. first time I shot was at a charity uh, shoot with up. some family friends um, about six months ago, and I really enjoyed it. Nice gap on the nose. Yes. It's quite a gap, isn't it? Yeah. I got into the final of the Novice Schools Challenge over the summer, which I was really pleased with. And I came second ladies winter series two weeks ago now. Um, I've been up here shooting most weekends and I've had, I've had a lesson, but I think I've just been up here practicing quite a lot. Cool. So you have a little bit more time again, don't you? Well done. I was coached by Rob today and I think there was a lot of stuff I either sort of cemented my technique or there was a couple of bits that I learned particularly about taking my time and not rushing my shot. Deep breath, think what you're doing. Cool. Take your time, wait, go. Yes, Paddy, come on! I'm hoping to join the academy next year, well this year coming, and once I get into that, just shooting more competitions here at Oxford and, and getting my average score a bit better. There are five spaces available for TSC Academy in 2014. The Schools Challenge Academy has been the most successful academy in the shooting world this year. The academy as a group has won more prizes and trophies than any other academy group. Send your shooting CV to rosie at schoolschallenge.co.uk. That was Schools Challenge TV. I hope you've enjoyed this programme. 
And if you'd like to find out any more information about how to get involved in the Schools Challenge, uh, the Academy, the competitions, or the sponsors' companies that sponsors the Schools Challenge, please contact us on the contact details above.